Hey, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn on notifications. And also, don't forget to like my video and don't forget to follow my new Twitter page. Link will be in the description. And I'm out. TACOM, deploy UAV on my grid. Throwing nine back. Get blind. Take him up. Almost dropped the nuke with the SG. Been going in. Oh my god. <laughs> These niggas are stupid as hell. Enemy one is trapped. Ooh. Oh my. Oh <laughs> my. You took this round, but we're not done yet. Pushing on me. Ballistics <laughs> only. Kill. They cannot stop me with this gun. I don't even have strobe light on here. That's ridiculous. They just can't kill me. She's gone. This Uber. MTC is dry. That's all you got. Nine things up. Oh my goodness. Can I cap it off? Oh! <laughs> What's good, y'all? All right, we're getting right to the actual gameplay. I just want to show y'all the two best class setups that I personally liked the most when I was trying to get this gun diamond. This right here, SC12, nice and diamond. I got max load, extended mags, long barrel, and the strobe light. Now, to me, I think this setup right here would be much better for larger maps because since you have the strobe light, the strobe light pretty much, you know, of course, it throws off their aim from a little distance. And so if you're going to be running into a larger line of sights, this would be really, really helpful. But I mean, I honestly, since you're going to a larger map, I really wouldn't recommend using a shotgun. But since I was just trying to get a gold, I didn't even really care. So I was using it on pretty much every map. So I got a gold. And of course, the max load, you got what well, adds extra pellets to the shot. Extended mags you're going to need if you're going to be spraying people. And an alarm barrel, of course, extend the range. And I'm only running just lightweight, so I need to move fast. If you're going to be running this on a larger map, then I need to move fast. So, you know, honestly, I really like this class setup. But this next setup right here that I'm showing y'all right here, I have two laser sights, max load, and extended mags. This right here is what you're going to see in the gameplay. This is by far the best setup, in my opinion. Because, you know, I mean, you really don't even need the strobe light. And, you know, if you play it on the right map, you really going to get people, like, easily. Honestly, like, to be honest, the best map for, like, SG-12, in my opinion, would probably be, like, Firing Range. Firing Range, of course. Honestly, Firing Range is, like, the best map to get any gold, any gun gold. And then, um, I, I would say Summit as well. But, um, anyway, having the two laser sights, the laser sight, too, it, um, I think what, it, it increases the pellet damage, which is really, really helpful. And, of course, maxis, maximizes hip fire damage. Or hit, I'm, I'm, I just said hit fire damage, hit fire accuracy. I'm sorry. And then I'm only running two perks, which is scavenger and ghost. I'm not running lightweight this time, though. I mean, it, it, you kind of you could use it or not, but I'd rather just have ghost and scavenger because my other class setup I didn't have scavenger. And if you if you don't have anybody running crash or you're not running crash, you're gonna run out of ammo really really fast. And that was honestly the most annoying thing. I literally every time I use that class setup for some reason I just had nobody running crash, which is really really annoying. Anyway, though, those are my two uh, class setups right there. 
those are honestly like the best ones I've used. Well, I mean, it's the only ones I really use. And I, it's honestly the best. And I've been the most successful with that. So anyway, enjoy that video. Enjoy the rest of the commentary. What's good with y'all, boy, man? I'm back here with another video. This time, I got the most unstoppable gun in the game. Nah, I'm joking, bro. It's not the most unstoppable gun in the game, but... I was going to say most unstoppable shotgun, but I mean, it's only three shotguns. But anyway, the most unstoppable class setup that I had just showed y'all for the SG-12. Honestly, I had a lot of fun sort of using this gun. I mean, this gun is honestly, like, incredible using, like, on, uh, in hardcore. Since, of course, it's a one-shot kill, and it's damn near unstoppable to... To really to counter but um using it on core was something else and i wouldn't say it was really a headache i was honestly snapping with this gun trying to get it gold and really the thing was just annoying was trying to get headshots the fact that you know like i'm i'll run up and hit fire and hopefully get a headshot i'm not gonna get a headshot about probably less than 50 percent of the time unless i really really try to aim for it so whenever i had the opportunity you know i'm getting a headshot but honestly, using the SG-12, I was just completely unstoppable. As I see the class setups I was using, I had, what, Scavenger? I was running Scavenger and Ghost, and then I had four attachments, two uh, laser sights, max load, and extended mags. And I was just destroying people with it. And I mean, like, bro, I was just wrecking people with it. So getting diamond shotguns or getting that uh, SG-12 gold was no problem. But honestly, the other shotgun was a lot easier just because... It was just one shot kills. All you literally had to do was just play hardcore. You can get that literally in way, 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 way less than a day. I mean, you can get that quick as hell. But, um, I'm tripping less than a day. You can get it like less than a couple hours. But anyway, though, the SG-12 is just honestly, well, I mean, when you put a gun in my hands, let's just, honestly, I, I'm just going to snap with it. Unless it's a sniper. Uh, one of my next couple of videos is going to be with snipers. I tell you, them shits right there. Oh, my God. Man, the Dark Matter grind has just been crazy. And I'm, this is going to be my first time ever getting Dark Matter because I never really fucked with Black Ops 3. Not really sure what they had on Infinite. Don't know if they had anything on World War II. I don't even know. I don't think they had enough for World War II. As you know, I really wasn't playing Call of Duty that much because I just really wasn't enjoying it the past couple of games. Except for Black Ops 4. I don't know. Black Ops 4 has just been my game. But um, I also hit Master Prestige a couple days ago during Double XP. Woo woo, about time. Everybody's hitting Mass Prestige 1000. Well, not everybody, but I've seen people already hitting Prestige 1000. I'm seeing like, damn, I'm just not hitting Mass Prestige. Shit. Yeah, I need to slow down. But um, anyway, though, i just been honestly destroying with this SG-12. And um, getting these diamond, getting guns diamonds is really like... It's really made me a little more versatile, though. And I really can see how... <laughs> I really can see why people love using this damn shotgun running around that damn knowing that strobe light and shit i'm like damn i, I just know i'd be fucking people up with that when i used to use that strobe light shit i'm just like <laughs> i know people gotta be so mad because they just be throwing their aim off because they don't always expect it when they first get killed by it when they first see it but um but anyways though this really made me pretty versatile especially because i used to be so one-dimensional using only just the kn until i finally gave in and started using the maddox or uh, the rampart actually i think it was the rampart first Cause I mean, I started out using the ICR, and I was just like, man, as soon as I unlocked that, uh, that KN, I, I just did not use anything else. So, finally getting, like, Assault Rifles Diamond, and then I kind of just stayed there. Like, I feel like if I, like, literally just kept grinding for Dark Matter, like, I never, like, if I never just, like, kept using the, the KN, I feel like I would have already gotten Dark, my, dark Matter by then. But anyway, though, after that, I got LMGs diamond, and then I got subs. I'm glad I, I'm glad I did the subs uh, after LMG. So I did it after the buff. So subs wasn't really too much of a problem. But anyway, then I, what I do? Tactical rifles after that. Then I just did launchers. I did that as well, and all that kind of stuff. So you know, I, I had dark matter eventually, though. Yeah, I can really see which guns I really like to use. Like now, I, I use like the KN, the Hades. Sometimes the BKM, I go with the 9mm, Maddox, all, all them types of guns. I really don't fuck with tactical rifles like that. You know, and honestly, I really don't like using tactical rifles. And maybe except for the swordfish, we put pentaburst on that thing with high caliber. That shit right there. Oh my god. But other than that, that damn ABR is a complete headache to use. I would never pick up that gun again. Maybe. And then what's the augers? It's okay, but anyways, though. This is just a little brief video. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the gameplay, man. Keep watching this video. I just started destroying people. 
and I think one eclipse. I almost, I almost dropped a nuke with the SB12. I swear, I, man, I had played it so well and so bad at the same time when I had went for a nuke. I really wasn't even trying to get a nuke. I was just destroying people. And of course, I throw a flash. I killed like three people, but I couldn't kill them fast enough because as soon as I killed that third guy, four dudes was in the damn building already shooting at me and i mean like i could have done anything better i could have put up my right shield but it happened so fast to the point where i couldn't really react fast enough to get out of that situation of dying and i think i was i just got a 20 kill streak after killing that last guy and i swear if i hit it not if i didn't die i would have gotten a nuke I, like i already got me a pistol only nuke i just need a shotgun away and then maybe i'll have to try to go for a sniper nuke that, that did us wouldn't even happen i suck at sniping like it, like no cap bro i fucking hate sniping now like, I haven't really, like, sniped. I got diamond snipers since... I got it on Black Ops 2. That's how you know I, I really don't even snipe with that no more. So, anyway, though. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy the rest of the gameplay, man. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button if y'all new. I'm out. Attack deploy beacon destroyed. Hostile medic wasted. <laughs> wasted her. The hostile robot has been disabled. First come, first served. Hostile robot is rebooting. Late. Have I? Hostile serif down. They're gone. I swear if that's CUAP standing by. Move up. Midway fuel check complete. Shut down. Drone squad awaiting orders. CUAP has left mission area. Nine men going in. They're blind. Take them out. Right, our robot is on the down. move. Their robots nearly at our base. Their robot has been disabled. <laughs> Hostile down. Request drone squadron on my grid. Hostile robot has rebooted. Be advised. Hostile attack deploy beacon active. Robot online. I dropped 35. UAV standing by. UAV perimeter is down. Line looks good to go. I'm about to go crazy. Alright. That's literally like his first kill on me too. That's the funny part. See you AP has left mission area. What? I don't understand how that shot didn't kill him though. Our robot is 
Oh, he's just sitting right here. I got killed three times in that one round. Fucking ridiculous. Friendly tech deploy beacon offline. Crash down. We're pulled ahead. Whoa. Operation complete. Nice work. Good to go. 